Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Andrea Ventura. I am a petite model. I'm 5'3". And I just like to share my journey with you guys. So hopefully I can help other aspiring, aspiring petite models do it too. Before we begin this video, I just want to ask to please, 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 if I have provided any value to you, to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to follow me on my Instagram because I post there almost on the daily, daily petite tips. So yeah, please. Follow me, I'll wait. Okay, great, let's get to this. So today's video, the purpose of this video is to encourage you to ditch the height requirement that you may find on agency's website and still apply, apply everywhere. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm going to show you big modeling fashion agencies that have a high requirement or they seem to be and I'm gonna show you that that is just I don't know exactly why they do that but it's just there to be there and you should not pay attention to it if you're talented don't pay attention to it and I'm gonna show you models that are below the high requirement and I try to find the like the lowest of the lows of the low even shorter than I am because I'm 5'3 try to find the shortest of the short and I try to include in this video models who have no ties whatsoever. Or, I mean, as long as I could find online, they have no ties to famous celebrities. Because I did another video on Get Petite Models to Fashion. And I know a lot of the models that I included in the video were daughters of famous people. So in this video, I'm trying to include models, petite models who are making it, who are not daughters of famous people who maybe perhaps even come from a very humble background and they have made it. So hopefully this way you can relate to them. So without further ado, let's get to it. So let's start with Mil Wilhelmina Models. Wilhelmina Models is very uh, popular agency so you probably already know about them if you have gone through their website you might have already seen that the high requirement to apply is five nine or taller well here I am to tell you that going through their website you can find that they have a lot of talent that is not five nine or taller they actually have a lot of talent that is below that height so in this video I'm gonna share with you guys um, Zoe Elisa and she is 5-2 and there she is she's not the only 5-2 that I found guys so she's not the only one that it's 5-2 I did not see anybody below this height but that's pretty you know it's it tells you something next we're gonna go to premier model management and if you check their website and you check the height requirement it says that you also need to be 5-8 or taller to apply yet if you look up their roster you will find Anja Konstantinova and she's 5'4". I am unsure of the reason why it says she's 5'5", but if you google her name you will find that she is 5'4". I am obviously I don't know her so I don't know if it's 5'4", 5 5'5", 5 5. but if you go to another of the agencies that represent her uh, which is Prissy Les, that they also represent Alessandra Ambrosio which one is one of the biggest Victoria's Secret models, it says there that she's 5'4". Next we're gonna go to IMG Models. IMG Models is one of the top fashion agencies in the entire world. They represent the top of the top of fashion models and if you check their roster, I mean if you check their submission form, you're not gonna see a high requirement. But obviously, if you check their roster, you might, you might feel a little intimidated because most of the talent that they represent is 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", 5'11", 6 foot tall. But that doesn't mean that they don't represent shorter models. So I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite, favorite models. Um, she is Halima and she is 5'5". And then the next one that I also wanted to show you guys is Jillian Mercado 
and she is 5'2". She's also a very aspiring, both of these women are very, very aspiring. Um, one is uh, Muslim, she's the first model wearing a hijab on runway shows and on being on cover of magazines and she, I believe she just became a UNICEF ambassador so she's doing amazing big things guys and she is sticking to her religion, she's not showing any skin the only thing the skin that you can see of her is literally her face she's covered up in any of the work that she does so I really applaud her for sticking to her values and then Gillian Mercado She's a disabled woman proving you that there is literally no limits to your physical appearance when it comes to applying to modeling agencies, when it comes to a bro um, <laughs> breaking beauty standards and just, you know, doing your thing and going out there. Now is a time with social media that everything is changing, the standards of beauty are changing, you're seeing different heights, different sizes on the runway, on magazines, on eight modeling agencies. So I think this is the time for us to be more confident about our talent and just give it a try. Alright guys, the, that is it. I'm gonna try to do this video really short because I know my last few videos have been a lot longer. Hope this was helpful. I uh, hope it gave you, like I said, a lot more confidence when it came to applying to modeling agencies. And please, please comment down below if you have any thoughts, any questions. I love, love, love answering your questions. And also, if you like this video and you support the petite modeling dream, please hit that like button for me please all right guys that was it thank you so much for watching this video see you guys next time bye